What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel and my name is Oscar Yana in another video. By the way, if you haven't known, I do really like to travel and I've traveled across Tanzania in so many places. I did went abroad for some times, back was then before Corona and stuff. After Corona, I haven't gone yet, but I will though. Anyway, let's get to the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling the tips of traveling cheap, of course, you guessed it, tips of traveling cheap in Tanzania. So welcome, I'm going to be telling you the cheap travel tips. Oh my god. I'm going to be telling you the tips of traveling cheap. You can use the same tips in Tanzania, the same tips even abroad. It's up to you to just understand the tips, the tips and be able to like navigate around them and make it your own way to your place that you want to go. So let's get started. Number one, stay in guests, stay in guests, stay in guests, yes. That's something that you should know. I know a lot of people really like to stay in like hotels and stuff. When you stay in a hotel, you're gonna pay more and you don't want to be like using a lot of money. Where do you go else? You have a relative, go to the relative, stay there. Like the way I did when I was in Morogoro going to Dizungwa, stay there the next day, go for your travel. The, ne the next day, go to your travel. During the day, then, then evening, could come back that's something now if you're a foreigner you don't have a relative unless you have a friend of course but if you don't have that that's why we have guest houses you should go to the guest house it's very cheap it's like almost like lower than half the price like it's a quarter the price of the hotel price if you haven't really known I did research myself I paid 5.3 US dollars instead of like 25 US dollars for just one night in that video if you haven't seen I did an, uh, an experiment on that and I really showed everything that I would get inside there but really it's it's worth it five US dollars per night what do you want else like it has everything that you need so if you really want to do cheap travels you really need to book. you don't have to book by the way in guests we don't book you just go there and you check the rooms if you like them you pick that's it like that's a good deal and you can really get good good guests guests houses with cheap with cheap like cheap cheap cash like what else do you need anyway let's get to point number okay two. so number two it's gonna be ugly but you're gonna have to like it eat less see more roads what do i mean so when i mean it's don't really go into like um uh, eating a lot of bunch of foods on the first you're gonna get yourself contaminated with a lot of things but if you really spend less on eating and spend more on traveling what i mean is spending more on the road transport like paying more for the entrances and paying more for the transport hence you're going to enjoy but if you pay more but if you're actually a person of eating food like me it's gonna be a hard thing to do but i do control myself on the travels i eat less and just pay more for the for the transport and for the entrances so as we could see more so if you really want to do cheap travels that's another thing now if you follow this straightforward these tips i'm telling you you will spend your life enjoying traveling rather than having so many so many ideas of expensive luxurious but if you have money of course go burn that money but if you don't have like me it's not a big deal just go and travel with us wherever you have it can get you far i'm telling you so another thing of planning i'm sorry so another third thing, the, three, the third thing of cheap travel is plan and do research. Now I'm telling you, if you do research and you literally understand the navigation around to go to that place and the people who really went there, what did they experience, you will know that if you really do need to go to that place or you can do, you can know a literally one thing that you need to know on doing it so as you can literally spend less instead of paying more because some of the places if you go there are so many agents now if you go with those agents they will charge you more you know an agent doesn't like do that thing for free it's his job or it's her job so she has to get money out of that now instead of you paying like 100 or like, or like 50 us dollars for something you would even pay like 25 all that 25 could have gone for the agent of course yes but if you just have to use your energy and your 25 us dollars yeah, you are there already. You don't have to spend 50 US dollars for that. I think that kind of makes sense. If it doesn't make sense anyway, tell me, I'll repeat it. Let's go to another point. Number four, be flexible. Yes, you have to be flexible with your travels. Now, if for example, you want to go to like, um, 
let's say Udzungwa. Okay, let's go to another country. Like for example, let's go to Kenya, right? But if you check the cheap, like the cheap travels are not telling you that you should go to Kenya. You should go to somewhere like Uganda because at that moment when you're trying to book that ticket to Kenya, it's more expensive, right? Like you wanna go to Kenya in January, right? You wanna go to Kenya in January, while in Uganda it's like less expensive and then later you could just move through the border to Kenya and explore more and you're gonna use a bus which is more like it's it's less expensive and you explore more rather than the plane you just use 45 minutes you are there already and it's done but with the bus you kind of take long and you explore more you see more places that's something you should be thinking about so if you're really following up with my tools and these tips literally you're gonna more you're gonna enjoy more rather than spending more and you're gonna be seeing a lot of places with these tips so number five don't travel alone yes personally i do travel alone and i've done that so many times i really enjoy it but i'm advising you do not travel alone why am i advising you do not travel alone listen listen one thing listen one thing if you travel alone you're paying for a hotel 25 us dollars guess what if you guess what too yeah it's 12.5 yes 12.5 us dollars you're saving if you're traveling as a group you divide that by five for instance you guys are five you get what five us dollars same as the person who's going to our guest yes so that's why i'm advising you for not doing solo travel solo travel can be good it can be really good get more time to explore you meet more people but it's very expensive <laughs> The chicken be careful also on the groups do not choose the agents to lead you because the agents they really it's like the same just doing like solo traveling only that you have some companies but literally agents are really taking a lot of money i have seen that and though i have actually like people who i'm supporting them with the agents and i'm like promoting them but i'm promoting only those who really don't take a chunk of money out of you anyway so if you have enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and if you follow my five tips of cheap travels you're gonna enjoy your travels either it's africa europe america i don't know where you're going but until then we meet another day on the road and peace out and bye bye in tanzania let's count them number one bolt number two airbnb number three whatsapp number four M-Pesa or Tigo Pesa. Number five, DC Navigator. If you have those applications, well, you have already subscribed to my channel. See you next time and enjoy other videos. Bye bye and peace out.